Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So seriously, this was my best thrift haul by far so far, especially with regard to shoes. So I'm super excited to share with you guys all of the cool finds that I picked up at my latest thrift expedition. So if you want to check out all of the items that I picked up to hopefully resell on Poshmark and eBay, definitely keep on watching. For those of you who might be new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I am a full-time working mom, but in my spare time, I really love making these videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to my reselling experience as well. So that kind of thing sounds at all interesting. Definitely check out my videos linked down below and please also consider hitting that subscribe button. It'll totally help me out as well. So I have another really awesome thrift haul for you today. And honestly, this really was my best thrift trip in quite some time. In fact, probably ever, I'll say. I found some amazing brands that are bolo brands, brands that I never thought I would find out thrifting before, so I'm so excited to share them all with you today. So I will, of course, as usual, be sharing with you all of my cost of goods that I picked these items up for because as a reseller, I think that information is really, really helpful, so I hope you find that helpful as well. If you are new to Poshmark and interested in anything in this thrift haul, in my closet, or anyone else's closet, and you sign up for the first time and make your first purchase, you will save $10 if you use my referral code. It's modmommd, that's M-O-D-M-O-M-M-D. And if you put in that referral code, again, you will save $10 on your first purchase. So definitely consider using that code. So I'm just going to jump into this video since I have a lot to cover. Again, the best thrift finds this trip really were in the shoe category. So I have tons of shoes here to share with you. But I think I'm going to start off with the clothes first. And even though the shoes were just amazing finds, the clothes I would say were also pretty solid and consistent. I don't have a whole lot of clothes as you'll see here, but I'm gonna take you through quickly the items I found. And of course I will show you the brand labels as well, because I also think that information is kind of helpful when you're sourcing your own closets. So I'm just gonna start off on the end here. And I picked up a couple of fun shorts. So the first one here is this Free People pair of shorts. And this is in a size 25. And as you can see here, it's this really fun pair of navy velvet shorts. So super cool. I think interesting things like this really can move pretty well both on Poshmark and eBay. So I'm excited to give this one a try. I have no idea how this is going to do, but I thought it was just really fun and unique. And I paid $5.99 for it. So the next pair of shorts is one of those bread and butter brands, of course, and that's made well. And this is in a size 24. So it's this basic pair of high rise, just cut off shorts. So can't get any more basic or classic than this, but um, I really like, of course, the unfinished hemline here, the high rise. So I think this will do pretty well. I mean, it's very classic staple from Madewell and I paid $5.19 for these. And I have a final pair of shorts and it's another brand that I really like picking up and that's from Topshop Moto. So as you can see here, this is called the Ashley. So Topshop, of course, their sizing, I believe is UK sizing, so it's size 12. But as you can see on the label, that it's actually a US size eight. So just be wary about listing Topshop items. You have to be careful about listing the US sizing. Although now on Poshmark, you are able to list international sizing, which is pretty cool. But um, if you want to list the US sizing, of course, it's a size eight. But this is just a high rise, distressed pair of black cutoff shorts. So I really like the distressing. I think it's just really well placed and really fun and adds a lot to the look. Uh, just very classic pair of black denim cut off shorts. And I've said before, but I really love selling Topshop, in particular the denim. I think other Topshop items may not do quite as well, but denim in particular, especially this Moto line for me, sells really well. So I was excited to find these pair of shorts and they were 518. Okay, and then I picked up a few pairs of denim here, and I always love going through the denim section. I think denim just is a very consistent seller. It's really easy to list and take measurements for, so I always look in that area. The first pair, I wasn't sure I should pick up. I kind of put it back and took it out of my cart many, many times, but I finally decided I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. So the brand is Wit and Wisdom. And I really like this pair because it's new a tag, and I also liked the style of it. So this one is called the High Rise Luxe Touch. It's a seamless ankle skimmer. So it's high rise, which is nice. It has a lot of stretch, of course, which I think some people really, really love. And the ends here are the unfinished frayed hemlines, which I always love too. 
So I really like the style of these and this particular brand um, sold pretty well for me when I first opened my Poshmark closet a couple of years ago. I had a pair of Wit Wisdom pre-love jeans that sold really fast and I was actually quite surprised by it. So I haven't really found this brand since then. I don't think it retails for a whole lot, but there definitely is a market for it, I would say. So I wanted to give this one a try, especially because it was new at tags. If it wasn't new at tags, I would not have picked it up. I can tell you that much, but I wanted to see how this would do. It's in a size four and I paid $12.99 for these jeans. So I might've paid too much, you know, who knows, but um, I thought it was a worthwhile pickup. Super stretchy, I think really cute style. So yeah, we'll see how this does. I'll let you know in future video updates. Okay, so next up, another classic from Madewell. Love Madewell jeans. They sell really quickly. In fact, I just sold one a couple days ago in my closet. Here's the label again. And the Madewell jeans in general list the style name on the side here, which is super convenient. You can see there. So this is the 10 inch high rise skinny jean in a size 26, as you can see. So super convenient to list these. They have the style name right here. And this is a classic pair of Madewell high rise skinnies. So just can't go wrong. People are always searching for these. There's, there's really no significant distressing besides the normal wash here, as you can see in the whiskering that was intentional. But this is an excellent condition. I always look for the back patch here to see the condition. And here, there's some mild signs of wear, but nothing significant. There, of course, always is the little Madewell M embroidered too in the pocket to look for. So yeah, just a classic staple for anyone's closet, I'll say. And these jeans move pretty quickly. So this one I paid $10.19 for. And my final pair of jeans is from a brand that I often consider picking up as well, and that is True Religion. So this is in a size 26 as well. And I picked this up because I thought it was really unique. So I think the front has this really nice pop kind of the orange color stitching. And I've sold a similar pair of jeans like this before with even brighter pops of orange that did really well. So again, some of these super unique pieces I think can do really well because they're not easy to find elsewhere. So I really like that part of it. But the back I thought was really cool as well. So as you can see on the back here, well, first of all, I love the wash. And the back has the really cool True Religion pocket leather tag here. So I'm not really familiar with this tag. So let me know down below if you're familiar with it, what line of jeans this is, but I thought it was super cool, a little bit different. I really love the True Religion logo here and the embroidery. So I thought this was such a unique pair of jeans that somebody out there is definitely gonna know what this is and want it. So I wanted to give it a try. This is a brand that I will still pick up even though it's not high rise. Otherwise, in general, I try to stick to high rise jeans. But this brand, I think, still does well, even if it's mid to low rise. So I just love the features of this. So we'll see how it does. I pay $10.19 for this as well. Okay, I'm going to move on to a couple of fun tops I found. So as I said before, it's rare that I find any t-shirts worthwhile picking up. I think although you can get them for a pretty good price point, it's hard to resell them for a decent amount of money. So I don't spend a lot of time in the t-shirt section. So with this shirt, it really caught my eye initially. And I was thinking of just picking it up for myself as kind of an oversized t-shirt because the graphic just totally fit me. It says Chief Mama Officer. So with four little kids at home, I think I qualify for this position for sure. So I saw this and said, hey, that's pretty cute. So I was going to consider picking it out for me but when I looked at the label I thought maybe it's worthwhile reselling so this is a collaboration so as you can see there it says hatch collaboration with J crew so these collaboration items tend to do a little bit better in my opinion just because they usually are a limited kind of curated collection and they're not so available so I think that this may be something somebody would really like. Hatch is a great maternity line um, that is really, really sought after, I would say, in the reseller's market as well. So I have no idea how the comps look on this shirt, but I'm going to try to resell it and see how it does. This is in a size uh, 2 or medium to large, but the tag on the shoulder here says medium. So I'll do measurements and we'll see how it goes. I think it's a little bit of an oversized look because it's probably maternity, but I think anyone can wear it. I mean, there's no obvious maternity features on this. So I think this will be a fun kind of oversized shirt. I paid $2.89 for it, which I think was a pretty good deal for this. So we'll see how it does, but super cute, really fun. The next item was from my bread and butter band, Bowden. 
And again, there's UK and US sizing. This one lists both. So the US sizing on this is a size eight. And this is just a beautiful basic black top, but it has this really nice kind of chiffon type of sleeves that I thought was super unique. It's an excellent condition, which is also really nice too. Um, just a very basic, beautiful top. And there's a chiffon overlay on the front, um, but not on the back too for convenience and comfort. Um, so I thought this was just a really beautiful basic. So with Bowden, I think, I kind of look for the extremes, right? So if you've seen my recent What Sold videos, you'll see that I sell a lot of basic Bowdens. So I sold recently a lot of basic, just black, dark colored wool skirts, some basic, just sweaters, um, you know, knitwear, just very solid, just basic colors. But I also sell kind of the crazy stuff from Bowden too. And I shouldn't say crazy, but ones that are very bright pops of color people also look for. So I think with Bowden, it kind of goes on both ends. I think you can sell basics pretty well, but also kind of the more unique pieces also do really well. So this I would classify as definitely a basic, but I thought it was just a beautiful condition, just gorgeous blouse. So this one I paid $7.29 for. All right, the next item was from Madewell. You can tell I love shopping Madewell in a size small. Okay, this is another one that I had to hem and haul with a bit. I wasn't certain I should pick it up. I personally love the style, these kind of chambray type of denim type of shirts. I personally love, it's really my style, but um, you know, it's a little bit basic I would say, so I wasn't sure if it was worth the pickup, despite the fact that I think Madewell still sells really well. And then the other thing I think about when I pick up Madewell is on the tag on the inside, as you all probably know, on the back tag, it tells you the season that it came out in. So for instance, let me show you guys. So if you can see here, it looks like this came out in spring 2019. It says SP19 on the tag there. So if you look at that, you can see the season. So spring 2019 is pretty recent, of course. So that was good. So I said, well, that's a pretty recent style. I actually love the condition of it. It's an excellent condition. I like the style. It does have some detail. It has the little back tie here, which is kind of cute. It also has this puff sleeve. So I think puff sleeves are still really trendy now. In fact, as you can see, this is just coincidence, but I'm wearing my little puff sleeve denim jacket here. So I like these little puff sleeve details as well. So I really like this top. Um, so I wanted to give it a try for all of those reasons. You know, new style, classic look, but a little bit of detail as well. So this one I paid $7.29 for. The next piece is a beautiful classic piece, and it's from a brand that I always love picking up, and that's Vince. As you all know, I really like picking up Vince. These are beautiful items, really high quality, often have made of beautiful fabrics that retail for quite a bit, and also resell for quite a bit as well. This particular item is in a size small. And one thing to be worried about with Vince items, at least in my personal experience, is because they're made of really fine materials, like fine gauge wool as this one is, or silks, oftentimes there's a lot of wear or damage you have to look for on these items in particular, I would say. But this was in perfect condition, I would say. So again, it's a size small, it's 100% merino wool. It's a very lightweight wool type of a pullover sleeveless sweater or sweater vest. As you can see, it has a really deep neckline here and it's sleeveless and the ruched bottom here. So super fun look. I think you can style this in so many fun ways. So it's just a beautiful gauge, 100% merino wool vest sweater. I mean, I just definitely wanted to pick this one up. I paid $5.99 for it, which I think was a steal for this. So super happy with this find. I think it's just a gorgeous one and it's super trendy, but yet classic as well. So yeah, I'm excited to get this one listed. All right, the next item is from a brand that I also have recently talked about quite a bit in my What's Sold videos. That's Mod Cloth. So more and more, I'm falling in love with this brand. Um, this is in a size large. So as you can see, they make a lot of just beautiful pieces. So this is a dress. I would say it's a little bit past the knee in terms of length, but it's just a gorgeous spring dress, I would say. It has chiffon or kind of a chiffon type of overlay. It's fully lined. It has pockets, which is amazing. It has a side zipper, but pockets on dresses are super fun as well. It has some really nice ruching details on the back too, elasticized waistband. So this brand makes some just fun, unique pieces, I'll say, super unique pieces. And I just love shopping this brand and also reselling it too. So I was really excited to find this dress. I generally pick a mod cloth if it's in good condition because I really like all the styles. So this one I paid $11.09 for. 
Super excited to get this listed as we go into the warmer months. I'm really, really trying to source dresses more. So I think this was a great find. All right, next up for dresses, I have another old favorite. It's Maeve by Anthropology. You can see the dry cleaning tag there. But sometimes it's so hard to take off. So to be honest, I'm probably just gonna leave it on because it's so hard to take off. And I don't know why that is, but it really sticks on there. This is a size extra large. So Maeve, again, is a brand that I know everyone says does not resell that well these days, which is likely true. But when I find this out, sourcing especially in a really cute style i just have to pick these dresses up because they're just beautiful and really well made so i figured i would give this one a shot again this is in a size extra large and i paid 11.09 for it but look at this style it's super cute this is more of a midi length and i love midi length dresses and it has this knit top here that's sleeveless but look at the skirt it's just a really beautiful graphic design it's this red, white, and blue type of colorway, so perfect for kind of the Americana holidays that we have coming up. So, I mean, just gorgeous in my opinion. I love the mixed media as well. So, this is a beautiful dress. I'm really happy to find it. So, we will see how it does, but yeah, really, really fun find, I thought. And then I have another item from Madewell. And this is in a size extra, extra small. This is another very classic basic. You can see kind of the Americana theme that I went for this time. This is perfect for the summer months, I would say. Just like really nice kind of shift dress, pull over the head, just can't get any more simple than this, just with flip flops or sandals. It's such a cute look in the warmer months. So again, it's an extra, extra small, and I paid $6.99 for this. So these basics for Madewell, again, I think can do okay. Um, I thought it was in great condition and a really cute style, so I wanted to give it a try. And then I just have two jackets to finish up the clothing haul. And the first one, again, is another one that I really had to hesitate on, but I decided to go for, and it's from Prana. So I definitely have decent success with Prana. This is in a size medium. So I love denim jackets, I love wearing denim jackets, and I like purchasing them and reselling them. They don't move as quickly as I thought they would maybe, but I think denim jackets are just classic in people's wardrobes. So if I find a cute style, I still generally always pick it up. So I wasn't sure about Prana denim though, but I just thought this was such an excellent condition jacket. It has some great details, like the metal placket here. And then the distressing on here I thought was done really tastefully and really cool. So there's a little bit of distressing as you can see. The buttons are just so intricately done like a lot of Prana items. But you can tell the quality of this jacket is just amazing. So I had to pick it up and see how this does. And this I paid $9.79 for. My one final clothing item here is from my bread and butter brand in my closet still, Eileen Fisher. So I still sell a lot of Eileen Fisher. I don't think it moves as quickly as it did before, but it still moves pretty well, especially on eBay. I like selling it there in particular. This is in a size extra large. And this is just a beautiful long coat with pockets, as you can see here. So again, it's kind of a midi length. It goes right below the knee, I would say, maybe a little bit longer, but just a very classic type of style in excellent condition. So I think really nice basics like this from Eileen still do okay for me, especially in a slightly larger size, like extra large. So I wanted to give this coat a try and I paid $14.29 for it. So the clothing haul I would say was not bad, pretty good bread and butter bands. I am happy with what I found in the clothing section, but I'm super happy about the shoe section that I went through. So I'm gonna quickly take you through all the fun shoes that I picked up in this haul. So definitely the highlights in this haul are coming up in the shoes here. And this is really in no particular order. I'm just kind of grabbing the different shoes that I found. So the first pair were these gorgeous slip-on mules, I'll say, from Free People. So these were in excellent condition, as you can see. Just really no significant wear at all. Really beautiful leather details. I mean, look at that, it's just gorgeous. So I love these shoes. I love the style of these. They're in a size 39. It's a leather upper, and I paid $12.09 for it. So I thought this was an amazing find. 
So believe it or not, I actually found my first pair of Rothy's while thrifting. So I've never found Rothy's before. I couldn't believe it when I found these at the thrift store. I recently have fallen in love with Rothy's personally, and I actually did my first ever Rothy's unboxing for a personal pairs of shoes that I picked up that I will link down below in case you're curious. But I take you through a little bit about the brand in that video and kind of do a try on of the shoes that I picked up. Um, but I've never found them out thrifting before, and I knew about Rothy's first because I knew that they're good for reselling. So that's how I first heard about the brand. So this is a sustainable brand of shoes, and they also make now accessories as well, and sneakers, many different kinds of shoes. And they make them out of this washable knit that's partially made out of recycled water bottles in terms of the fiber here. And you can wash these, which is really great. So it's a sustainable brand that I really, really like. Um, so I was really excited to find these because I knew these resell really well. Here's the tag Rothy's. You can see the label there. And this one is their classic kind of ballerina flat with a round toe. And it has this really nice kind of multicolor upper. And as you can see, this is just minimally worn. I mean, it was worn, but no significant wear. This is in a size seven and a half. And I would say this particular style runs true to size. In the video that I put out for the pointed toe version of Rothy's, I tend to go up a half a size, but this one, I would go true to size. This is a true seven and a half in my opinion, but super fun find, I could not believe it. I paid $12.29 for these, but these resell for close to $100, at least in terms of comps. So I thought this was a great pickup and a really, really fun find. So we will see how these do. And then I found really fun booties. And again, it was just amazing. I was just going rack by rack through the shoes and almost every single shoe I picked up was a score. So I just couldn't believe it. And sometimes I think you just kind of get on a roll, right? And you're just like, wow, one after another, you're finding good thrift finds. Doesn't happen very often, but that's really what happened to me on this day. So the next pair was a pair from Fry. I don't know if you can see the Fry logo there on the insole, but you can also see it, let's see, right here, kind of embossed into the suede. That's the Fry logo, of course. And this is just a beautiful pair of booties. So this is in a size nine, and it's a suede upper, but I mean, excellent condition. There is definitely some wear on the outsoles, as you can see, but not much. I would say the heels are very nice, almost pristine, just a little bit of wear. And it's just a cute style. So it's this ankle strap suede heeled booty, as you can see here. So the upper is in great condition, just minor scuffing, but not bad at all. I paid $12.29 for these. So Fry, as you all know, does very, very well in the reseller's market. So I'm always excited to find good condition Fry items. So yeah, I was really excited about this particular pickup. Okay, so this next pair was one of those bolo brands that I'd heard about and always wanted to find. But instantly I felt this boot, I knew it was something good. You can tell this boot is quality. It's just really heavy, but heavy in a good way. It's like good quality heavy. It's not too heavy on the foot, I would say. But you can tell these are just gorgeous boots. And these are essentially, I would say, new Freebird by Steven booties. So that's the logo. And... On the insole, this is what the tag also looks like, if you're curious. So this is a brand of shoes that is, I believe, handmade leather shoes. They're all made in Mexico. This is, style is called the Quail in a size eight. And they, again, they're handmade, beautiful leathers, as you can see here, just a, excellent quality. Started out of Colorado, it really has this really cool, I think Festival of Boho vibe to their line of footwear. But look at this booty. I mean, I just can't get over this. It's just gorgeous. It's a little big for me, otherwise I would have totally kept this. Um, but you can tell it's just quality. So it has multiple buckles there. It's the peep toe, the open back heel, block stacked heel. And it's really unworn. I mean, really. I cannot believe this. So look at that. So super fun to find this. It was only $8.99, which is a steal. These retail for hundreds of dollars. So I am excited to get these listed. I'm sad that I can't fit into these, but this is totally my style. I would love to wear these, but somebody's gonna really enjoy these. So I could not believe that I found these boots from Freebird by Steven. So super excited about these. Okay, so the next up, I found a pair of Manolos. 
So, I mean, the brands just keep coming. I mean, this is unbelievable. This never happens. All right, here's the label. So these, um, again, are in great condition. It's a size 40. I paid $12.29 for these. And there definitely is somewhere. There's a little bit of wrinkling on the leather here. And of course, on the outsoles, there's somewhere. But I mean, you can see it's not bad at all, especially for designer shoes. I mean, this was not worn very much at all, I would say. So overall, I'd say excellent condition. The heels look really nice, too. So these again are amazing so i've sold one of their pair of manolos before which did really well and there's a lot more wear on them and it was just a basic sandal open sandal so this i hope does even better than that but i mean really cute shoe excellent condition for manolos and you just can't go wrong and then i found another brand that i always enjoy finding out thrifting and that's bionic so bionic makes a line of orthotic footwear they have always a removable insole here so just be careful when you're outsourcing if the insole comes out it looks like this so i have picked up an item where i thought this was the insole i didn't really look inside and somebody had taken these out so of course it won't resell very much if that's the case so make sure you have these removable insoles that are already in there these insoles also just retail for quite a bit as well i've sold a pair of just bionic ortho heel insoles on their own for gosh, i think about twenty dollars so not bad, um, but I love Bionics because there definitely is a market for these. They're very comfortable orthotic shoes with a really good insole, as you can see, that's removable. But they also make some cute styles now too of their uppers. So this is one of those. It's a pointed toe, kind of almond toe, maybe Mary Jane type of style upper. It has a V, which is a really nice detail here. Just excellent condition. In fact, again, I think this was maybe only worn once or maybe not at all. I mean, look at the outsole. Super clean, excellent condition. So this was another great find for me. And this one is called the Delilah. It has the name on the insole here and it's in a size US 8. And it's of course a leather upper. So very classic style. I think these are gonna do well as well. And I paid $8.99 for these. All right, next up is another pair of really fun shoes that I just couldn't pass up. This is another one that I kind of hem and hawed and had to hesitate a little bit about, but ultimately decided I'd give it a try. So these are from J. Crew. It's in a size six and a half. I don't know if you can see that there, but it says J. Crew in there. And look at this upper. It's this tweed upper with some sequins. So my previous experience, these J. Crew shoes that have leather details, including the leather lining and insole for these particular ones, do really well. Um, so I'm always looking for the really nice condition J. Crew shoes. And this was a great example of it. There is some wear on these, which is why I hesitated some, but not bad, I would say. But the uppers are just really in really pristine condition. And the heels are gorgeous as well. No significant wear, I would say. So I just love the cute style. I just couldn't pass up how unique these were. And these I paid $8.99 for. So next up, I found another brand that I love sourcing for, and it's Paul Green. So Paul Green does retail for quite a bit, and I've had great experience selling Paul Green both on Poshmark and eBay, I'll say. And these are just a fun style, kind of a hidden wedge in here. And it has the metallic leather uppers, as you can see here, suede upper with the ankle strap. So really cute style, in my opinion. It has kind of the rounded toe. And Paul Green, of course, the sizing is different. This is a size four and a half, but that's UK sizing, so just be careful about listing these. But these I paid $12.89 for. And these are another pair of shoes that just really had minimal to no wear on them. So really excellent condition. It's a super great find, I would say. So I'm excited to try these out. And then I found a few summery type of shoes or spring type of shoes, which were really beautiful too. And these were a pair of Tory Birches. And as you can see, it's this espadrille bottom flat. The really cute stripe upper there with a leather ankle wrap detail. So really fun, cute shoe. I love Tory Burch shoes. They resell for a lot. They retail for a lot too. So I personally love the brand. And there isn't much wear on these either. I paid $12.29 for these. And these are in a size 9. And then I found a pair of fun slides. And these are from Sam Edelman. That's what the insoles always look like. These are in a size eight. And Sam Edelman for me is really a bread and butter style. I sell a lot of Sam Edelman um, and I do pretty well with these. 
They often include the name of the style on the insoles here. So this is the Barrett. And again, in a size eight, it's a leather upper here. And this is their classic slide. And I paid $8.99 for it. So I picked it up really because I like the style, but look at the condition, not bad at all, very minimal wear. Um, so just a really fun style as we go into warmer months. And then I found another pair of slides that I thought were really fun, another brand that I often like sourcing, and that's Jack Rogers. And these also seem to be unworn. I mean, unbelievable, really. Uh, it's made in Brazil in a size eight. It's this beautiful calf hair leather and the spotted print, as you can see. So I love these slides. And look, they're really just unworn. I paid $8.99 for these. So super fun, perfect for warmer months. Definitely excited to get these listed. Okay, and then I just have two more pair of shoes. Thanks for sticking with me if you've been through this whole thrift haul. These I thought were super fun sneakers. And these were from Geox. So I'm not sure how well you can see that. I'm not too familiar with this brand, but I know that they make excellent quality shoes made in Italy. It's in a size 36. And I really like these, again, because they were essentially unworn. These are white outsoles. Look at that. They're just pristine, I would say. So that's really what got me first, the condition. I love the style. It has these really nice metallic leather and glitter details. And the glitter, of course, does not rub off at all. And here's another logo there. So I wanted to try these out. I think that they might do okay. Sneakers are just really fun. I mean, athleisure now is so big this time in our lives, I would say, in the pandemic. So I think athleisure type of items do extra well. Just really beautiful Italian-made shoe in a size 36. I did pay up for these. I paid $17.09 for these. So I'm not sure how they're gonna do, but I wanted to give this brand a try. Okay, one final pair of shoes, another amazing brand that I found, this beautiful pair of suede booties, and it's from Aquatalia. Hopefully you can see the logo in there. So if you're not familiar with this brand, you should definitely be because it's a bolo brand. Aquatalia is made in Italy, beautiful leathers and suedes, and they retail and resell for quite a bit. So definitely keep your eye out for these. They're in a size nine and a half. I mean, look at these, they're in, really pristine condition, almost new. There's a little bit of wear for sure on this though, on the outsoles. Somebody definitely wore these, but not much. I mean, the uppers are just beautiful. But just a classic style. I mean, these are gonna do well, I imagine, in size nine and a half. So just a gorgeous pair of Aquatalia boots. I could not believe I found these. And they're $12.89, which I would pay for time and time again. I mean, I think this is definitely worth that price. So definitely excited to try these out too. All right, so there you have it. That felt like a little bit of a marathon. Thanks for sticking through it if you did all the way. But as you can see, I'm super excited about the brands I found. I've never found this many awesome shoes in one thrift haul before. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all the fun finds I had. The problem with this thrift haul is it kind of spoiled me. So going forward, I kind of expect to find a lot of great brands now. Trust me, I don't. But you know, it was really fun to find these all in one thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about some of the brands that I'm picking up these days. Thank you so much for watching and I'll plan to see you again in my next video. Take care. Bye.